Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for another update. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Lisette and today I give you an update of my Josephine Wall project. Well guys, as I said last week, I don't think I'll be able to do a whole lot this week and I only did this part. And I was only able to diamond paint on this canvas two times in the last week. And the rest of the time I spent on my chuck. I'll show you. Right, so last week I finished the first section of my chuck pinson. And now I'm working on this top section. Uh, it's Friday today and I need to finish this um, before Monday. Because Monday I need to start with this part this quarter this is for next week and this is for the last week of march so that's taking up a whole lot of time <laughs> so i don't have much time for my josephine wall by chuck as i said last time but still i got a little bit done and um you know what you guys i think next week i'm going to try to finish this then at least I get something done. Um, today I would like to show you something guys because I've gotten a lot of questions about how I track the time that I spend on this and actually I use an app for that and that app is called Gems Flow. I'm going to show you on screen and please be gentle because I'm just figuring out how this uh, screen filming thing works. So I'm going to show you how I monitor my time for this. In the top left you see the icon of Gemsflow. You click on it and then it opens up. In my case I'm already using it so there are already projects. Projects you see in the left bottom side. Okay, you can see that I've not received five diamond paintings then you can see received not started 14 uh, I've only I'm only going to show you the ones that I've already unboxed on my channel and the other one I have renamed and I have removed the images and this one I had to change to another image so that's not a diamond painting guys that's just a really weird uh, coloring scheme and there you see woman in gold and then here you see two projects that are started my joie de vivre and the golden valley and then over here you see completed well you can see I've completed five diamond paintings so this is my diamond painting career until now okay then in the bottom you can go to colors that's the little icon next to projects here you can see all the drills if you want oh, sorry. and in the top you can select round square special so in case you want to keep an inventory of the drills that you have you can do that over here like this okay but that's not what we're here for then the one next to that is wish list so you just need to press on the plus and then you can insert a project name like for instance kitchen helpers that's one that I've got on my wish list but I haven't made a wish list in this app um, you can do the picture size over here if you want let's say 50 by 70 I don't know and the number of colors say 40 I really don't know guys you can look it up and then D A C the price the shipping cost the drill type square round special crystal rounds and then underneath there's full drill or partial drill and you can leave notes and then right on the top you can save it and then there's your project and look it's here in my wish list Okay, next to wish list there's custom DP. Uh, this Gemsflow has a store, as you can see the C icon next to it, and there you can get a custom if you want. This is the store. 
you can view all kinds of things. Um, I haven't ordered from this store because I only do licensed artwork and there are probably images over here that are within the public domain and copyright free. I don't know. You need to check that before you order. At least I would do that. So I haven't done that yet. Look, you don't have any orders yet. There you can see it. Okay. But for us, the interesting thing is projects. So I go back to projects and I go um, to my joie de vivre. Okay. Um, the information is over here. I put that in. And here in the middle you can see the hours. I have spent a... 85 hours and 7 minutes, oh my god, already on this project. Okay, view hours. And here I can log them. Here you've got a monthly view or a daily view. I chose, I choose monthly views. So in January I spent 44 hours and 28 minutes. In February 38 hours and 47 minutes. And in March, so far, one hour and 52 minutes. And you can see last week I only worked on the 7th of March and on the 11th of March um, in the evening. The others are all in the morning. Um, okay, so if you want to log your hours here, what do you do? You click on the plus sign, then you get a sign like this, from and to. So first, Let's say that I, this morning I worked on this from 10, 10.08 to uh, 11 o'clock. And then yes, and then it adds over here, as you can see, March 12th. And if I tap on it, I can edit it. So I can just change this again if I want to, or I can delete it. That's what I'm going to do because otherwise we've got a problem, guys. <laughs> okay, so that's how you can log your hours. So I used the Gemsflow app for that. And um, I'll show you how I count how many drills I've placed. That's really easy. I don't use an app for that. I just write up in a, in a physical logbook, but I'll show you. Right, guys, so this is the Gemsflow app. And as you can see, for the Golden Valley for Chuck, no time logged yet, because I'm only doing this for my Josephine wall. And uh, for my other projects, I do it so that I can see uh, which one I have received and which one I'm still waiting on. I just think that this is really handy. Okay. All right, guys, let me show you over here. I'll just take this off a bit. All right. Can you see, guys? These are grids. So this is 10, 10 that way, and 5 that way. So, and I always do sections, so I count, for instance, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Then I know that I've done 30 times 15. And then I've got the amount of drills that I placed in this particular section. And I just dot that down each time I work and then I add it up at the end of the week. It takes a bit of planning every now and then, but I think it's worth it because it's nice on a project like this to know how much you're doing. So that's the system, guys. That's right, guys, now you know. I hope you found that useful information. Maybe you can use it yourself for your own diamond painting project. I'm going to continue with this Josephine wall. And I'm also going to continue with my Chuck Pinson. I'm going to show you the progress in the next update. And I hope that I'll be able to show you that I did this part. You guys, only a little section this week, but still, progress is progress. 
So I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you as a follower. And if you hit the notification bell, you get a notification each time I load up a new video. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!